They are said to have called for violence against customs officials and graffiti because pro-British unionists are mobilizing against the Brexit trade agreement. Goods controls in Northern Irish ports have been suspended. Tensions are increasing in Northern Ireland as a result of Brexit. The EU Commission temporarily withdrew its inspectors at the ports of the United Kingdom's province due to security concerns. We will continue to monitor the situation and act accordingly, said the Brussels Authority. The security of the EU inspectors in Northern Ireland is a top priority. Northern Irish inspections in the two ports of Belfast and Larne were also suspended on Monday evening because the local authorities withdrew their staff over security concerns. The background was a sudden increase in serious and threatening behavior by Northern Irish Unionists, the authorities said. There have recently been numerous graffiti in the region in which the port workers were named as targets. The security concerns on the Northern Irish side are apparently also based on intelligence findings. The politician Peter Johnston of the pro-British Democratic Unionist Party, the DUP, told Sky that he had intelligence reports that people noted the license plates, plates of the port workers. Tensions have grown, said the mayor of the Mid and East Antrim region. According to the Brexit agreement between the UK and the EU, a hard border between Northern Ireland and the EU member Republic of Ireland is to be avoided. The reason is that a resurgence of the civil war between militant Protestants and Catholics is feared. But in order to guarantee the protection of the EU internal market, goods that are shipped from Great Britain to Northern Ireland are still subject to EU regulations, creating a customs regime within the United uh, Kingdom and that now became necessary. And this is a thorn in the side of the pro-British unionists who fear of rapprochement between Northern Ireland and Ireland. Peter Johnson of the DUP, the unionist party told Sky, as I said, that he had intelligence reports that they even took down those license plates. And that is unbelievable. And with this agreement, it's clear, it's clearly having a detrimental impact, not only on the port of Larne, but on the whole of Northern Ireland. A spokesman for the European Commission told the British broadcaster BBC that the EU strongly condemns any threat of violence and everybody should do that. It's clear that our first and foremost priority is people's safety. EU and UK government officials would hold talks with the Northern Irish government on Wednesday. The British Cabinet Secretary Michael Gove spoke in the House of Commons in London of serious difficulties with the Brexit trade agreements in Northern Ireland. He called for longer transition periods to ensure that supermarkets and retailers could provide customers with all the goods they need. Confidence has suffered, damage has been done and action must be taken now. But the reason for all this is not the deal itself. There was a transition period during which the British government should have prepared for everything that happens now because the customs border in the Irish Sea is not only there since the TCA, it is there since the withdrawal agreement. So the UK government had almost a year to prepare for that. And that's what they didn't do. You also hear about renegotiations and stuff like this. They just should have done their homework and now they have to find a way to finally do their homework. But we will see how this continues. I will already talk in my next video about more that has to do with that. But if you want to ask some questions for my next live stream, there is another post on my community tab now for my next live stream. Use it. I'll see you in my next video. Viel Spaß.
und auf Wiedersehen.